Can I introduce y'all to something new that I got? I used to be a gadget fanatic growing up. I don't have as much time as I used to for them. But I got me a new one sitting right here. This is, this is, this is, I don't even know what to call it. This is my soundboard. Because, see, I'm a musician, I'm an artist. And so I lead with my ears. Everybody leads with something. Or you have your own language, then I'm an actress, so everything is about a subtext. I'm giving y'all the, you know, this is the manual of how my soundboard works. So this is, this is how I express myself. And it got all of my sounds, what I call Jennifer Rising, and I have all my good sounds on my board, right? So we're gonna go through them and I'm gonna teach you my language. Oh, anybody watch me last season on the Jennifer Hudson show? <laughs> Okay, back then I used, apparently I used to say wow a lot, a little too much, to the point the producers pulled me in the room and we need to have a full meeting. Okay, so Jennifer, you do realize you say like wow a lot. I was like, I do? So then they got real smart with me, as my brother would say, they got real chewy and then made like this long video reel of all the times of season one that I said, wow, 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 wow. But wow, it has many different expressions, y'all. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Like, oh my God, like, what? you see? You feel that? <laughs> so anyway, I got my soundboard for my sound, so when I don't know what y'all talking about, or if I want to give y'all a wow, here it go. Wow, 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 wow. 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 <laughs> you ain't catch that, you still look confused. One more time. Wow. 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 You felt that? You felt all the subtext and all those different wows, right? You felt that? Okay, okay. He's so confused. Then, okay, I got another one. I like that. I like that. That means I'm trying to like it. No, no, but, but, no, I like it. I like it. That would be your subtext as an actress. No, I like it. Oh, I like it. I could tell a lot with people by the tone. Pay attention to your tone, the way you say something. Oh, you look cute today. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I'm gonna have to add that to my soundboard. So I'm gonna use these expressions throughout the season, but this one need a little help, because when you singing me down, I don't know if it comes before or after you better sing today, but normally I would give it to you, you better sing! <laughs> Now, now, let's talk about the shoes, sir. He like, Jennifer, that shoe got real close, sir. But that was my compliment. When I throw a shoe, that's like a standing ovation. Okay? But my last one that I got for you, I need y'all to pay close attention. do de do de do 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 You got it? I heard that wow. <laughs> Do 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 do. Do you know what that means? No. Then you're supposed to say what? Wow. wow. <laughs> That's the confused wow. Well, I'm a musician. That's a musical term. So we'd be like, okay, do 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 do. You get it? But see, you're not singing it right, baby. Hold the line. I'm your music teacher now. Do 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 do. Doody doody do. <laughs> do do. Okay, all together. Oh, I got a wow. Okay, now we're ensemble. Okay, I get. I hear you. One more time. What are you supposed to say? Okay, we gonna work on it. Cause you missed like a t t t t t t. But that's an expression. That means when I say doo dee doo dee doo 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 dee doo dee doo doo doo, that means I'm happy as hell. Okay, guys. You want to hear? You got to hear. Doo dee doo dee doo 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 dee doo doo doo. See, that means I'm happy. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all did pretty good, and I like the wow you added too. That was all right. Let me get to the point right here. Let me see what this one is. <laughs> for Happy Mail. Happy Mail. We got
got some happy mail. Let's read it. Dear Jennifer, I am writing to tell you about my amazing niece, Katina. She founded an amazing nonprofit called Holiday Helping Hands. Yes, they help find forever homes for unhoused children in LA and help formerly incarcerated young mothers get back on their feet. Katina is amazing and needs to be honored. Love, uh, Thelma. Yes, Thelma is here today in the audience. Katina deserves to be celebrated, and she is backstage, y'all. She has no idea that she's here. She's gonna be celebrated today and that her beautiful family is here, so we gonna keep that a secret. All right, right. we have a great show. We'll be right back. It's our season of surprises, and I saw a great one while scrolling through my phone. Take a look. Coming up right now, we have the story of two young journalists who just so fucking find love in the same industry. Local 3's Riley Nagel joins us in the studio with a special report. That is right, Cornelia. I do have a very special report, Cornelia Nicholson. <laughs> Would you marry me? I love you too. Come here. Oh, please welcome the happy couple, Cornelia and Riley. Come on Happy to see you guys. How are you feeling? Is this real? It's, it's real. Look, they're real. We're, we're, we're here, girl. I'm still shocked. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get into this. First of all, congrats. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Wow, Riley. Okay, yes, give them some love. Thank you. Thank you. Where did you get this amazing proposal idea from? Okay, so, well, we had met three years ago in Montana at a news station. And um, within the first few months of us dating, uh, I had kind of already realized that she was the one. And uh, she's, <laughs> yeah, that's in Montana. Um, and I know she's a very special person with a big personality, and I just felt like it needed to be big. So I started thinking and thinking about, like, what would be a special way, and it just kind of hit me um, that, maybe I should try and do it live on TV um, That's in news. So yeah, it was just, um, it kind of came to me and I just waited for the right time yeah. after a couple years till we were ready to get engaged. And I was like, okay, let's do this. Woo! I know. <laughs> yeah. I, I got a good one. I got you a good got one. You got a great one. What is the secret, <laughs> I girl? Know. I don't know. I guess you got to find them in Montana. Montana. Yeah. That's where they're keeping them. Write it down, girl players. Y'all hear that? <laughs> Okay, like, when did you realize what was happening? So we were doing promos, as you know, that aired during the commercial break, saying this is coming up for 11. So this is after our 6 p.m. show. So I'm reading the promos, and they're like, oh, we messed up. Got to do it again. I'm like, okay, no worries. It happened. We do it a second time. They're like, hey, we, we messed up again. I'm like, no. all right. <laughs> I'm still on my phone, so I'm not paying attention. I'm like, okay, it's fine. So, but the third time, the script completely changes. Uh -huh. I have never read the script before, and so that's why I look confused in the video, because I'm like, what is this? What is this? And then I see pictures of myself behind me, and that's when I kind of... You put it together from yes, there? Yes, and then I could see him walk in. Oh, my goodness. That, <laughs> that right there. That is so beautiful. Yeah. So you had no idea. No idea. Okay. You, did you get to see each other before the proposal, early in the day? Did you sense anything different so that was going to happen? So I kind of knew something was going to happen because okay. he had told me in advance, like, if you're going to, you know, don't you have a hair appointment coming up? Are you, oh. you getting your nails done? I was like... Let her know. She should get ready. <laughs> get ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah. <laughs> now... Were you surprised of how viral, like, th this whole thing went viral like that? Yes. We so we that. got engaged on Saturday, and Sunday is when I decided to announce, you know, to all my friends and social media, just kind of, like, take the night to enjoy, you know, being engaged to each other. Saturday posted it on social media. He's like, you should just post it on TikTok, you know? Mm -hmm. People would like that. Post it on TikTok. I go to work, because su Sunday is uh, my Tuesday. So I go to work. He calls me in the middle of my day. He's like, have you seen your TikTok? And I'm like, no, why? What's wrong? 
He was like, look at it right now. And it had 450,000 views at Whoa. that point. Yeah. It happened fast. It did. It did. It did. I think he almost had a heart attack. Oh. I, I mean, I thought I was going to like look at the TikTok and like 500 views or something like, well, hey, that's a pretty big deal. But um, no, yeah. that was like jaw dropping. And for then sure. it just kept kind of climbing from there. Yeah. But funny part is my parents were in Mexico on vacation. Mm -hmm. So they weren't in the States and the number that we had for them didn't work. So my parents had no idea until Monday. It happened on Saturday, oh. and they found out Monday. And I called my mom when she's finally back in the States. Uh -huh. And I was like, hey, did you see anything? She's like, no, what happened? <laughs> I got engaged. I'm like, uh, go look at my TikTok. <laughs> and that's how your parents found out? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. This is getting more. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's a good wow. <laughs> OK, so. I hear you guys love like TV and movies. What we do you do. guys do? We're homebodies for sure. Homebodies? Yeah. You so know. we love just like sitting on the couch, watching movies together, mm. some reality watching TV. TV. We yes. love reality TV. And then I'm a huge movie lover, grew up just watching movies all the time. Everybody yeah. loves movies, but I kind of take it to the next level sometimes. Yeah. And uh, fortunately, I found a girl that also enjoyed to kind of just sit yes. down and, um, you know, enjoy some movies together. But I also love traveling. So I take the homebody out of the house sometimes so that nice. we're not on the couch 24-7. Oh, OK. <laughs> we like that. Yeah. Well, we want to, you, you got, wait, are you planning your wedding yet? And are you going to invite all 430,000 <laughs> people? That they have probably, asked. Did they, they ask? They asked. And then they said, can you just live stream your wedding? So that, Do I, I guess. Do you think you will? I don't know. I don't know. We haven't know. thought that far ahead. We're still early stages, <laughs> yes, for sure, we're but still, who knows? We've got a date, March 2025. March 2025, right? Yes, ready. yes. <laughs> yes, of course, you're invited, Jennifer, yeah, of yeah. course. I get an invite, yes, yes, of course. Is. Wow, I get an invite, guys. <laughs> Thank you for that. Of course. OK, well, we want to give you a little something to just help you get started towards your wedding. We are sending you on a surprise engagement shoot around the historic Warner Brothers lot. Yes, we are. Since you love TV and movies, just for you. You're, we've got it all set up with the Hollywood oh photographers, God. hair and makeup team, and VIP tour guide. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, and thank you so much. Oh my God. You got your own photographer. You got the beautiful hair and makeup team. You have your tour guide. Brad is the guy. Since you love movies and oh television. Thank y'all for letting us be a Just part of your lovely story. So and thank you thank for inviting you. us to the wedding. Of course. We are so excited, aren't we, guys? All right, yeah. we'll be right back. It's still October, but in my house, it's never too early to get in the holiday spirit. And what better way to do that than with one of the best acapella groups out there? Please welcome Pentatonic. I love y'all so much. We Can you tell? We love you. We love you so much. So much. Y'all so almost speak in harmony. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's scary. So many right? hands. And like in unison or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like okay, connected, y'all. Yeah, everybody you really are. You know what? Your voices are amazing. Like, one of, who, who determines, like, who sings what parts and all of that? I got to ask my musical question. Oh, so, I mean, the trio, usually two of us take, like, background parts, and then he'll do the bass line most of the time, and then he uh, says our beatboxer. Mm -hmm. We can break it down for you. We can start you know, off. You know, now you know I want to have it. Well, I know. <laughs> I like it. Okay. Can we have these? Thank okay. you. Uh -huh. So... We'll start with Kevin, um, and then Kevin will usually hold down the beat. <laughs> and then Matt over here, our Mr. Bass man, he holds down the bass line. <laughs> Do you hear and then out of the trio, two of us will sing background parts. And then the solo just lays right on top. The day to play it and it pleased the Lord But you don't really care for Because you know that's like like my absolute favorite song. That was it Hallelujah really? by the way. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. oh, amazing. Is it your favorite song? It's so, See, that's yes. why I'm a fan of y'all. Okay. <laughs> that was amazing. Thank I love you. to Thank be you. in the midst of music. 
and seeing how it comes together, how it's built, that is the greatest gift. So thank you. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thanks thank so you. much. We're honored for that. That was awesome. Okay. Thank you recently you. got married? I did. I got married. Ooh, congratulations. Yeah. Again. This is a massive year. I know. Yes. What was that like? Did y'all go? Y'all were there. Yeah, oh was, yeah, oh absolutely. It was beautiful. It was amazing. Extravagant. Oh, we did it. We yeah. You the get this. Oh, Look at this. Oh yeah. Oh, my, that looks lavish. Hey. Oh, thank it was. you. Mark and I both wanted to go really big for the wedding. And then the, the day before the wedding was really special too because we did this thing where we like sat at an upright piano and I just played piano and people came and sang. His family loves to do karaoke. And we, they just all gathered around the piano. We sang and then they signed the piano and left notes. And it was just such a beautiful, like this really amazing experience. And we have the piano forever <laughs> now. And y'all were recently on The Masked Singer too, huh? Yes. 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 What was that experience like? Oh my God. It was, it was a amazing. Whirlwind. It was a whirlwind. I mean, yeah, we had to learn the song so quickly, but it, well, yes, there we are in our sushi costume. <laughs> we were sushi, by the way. Wait, you were sushi. We were, we were sushi. the California exactly. roll. Yeah. It was honestly so and fun, though, because you couldn't see us, and so we got to, like, really just, I feel like it was like a, um, a workshop in, like, confidence, because Truly. if people couldn't see you, you could just, like, dance around and do whatever you wanted. So you, you felt wanted. freer in yeah, yeah. Of and it was really, really fun. It was definitely, like, harder to get around. Like, people had to lead us. <laughs> and you could, sure yeah, we couldn't you see them? Running into things. Barely. Barely. Like, Tiny little yeah. holes. But um, oh. it was so fun. Natural it was reverb in there, too. Oh. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So it wasn't hard to sing inside of me. You could hear each other well, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was we actually, could yeah. Hear each other kind of. Nice. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, we oh, my that. goodness. What haven't y'all sang for? Like, oh, man. I think we've covered it. <laughs> we've covered a lot. We have covered a lot. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what we haven't done. Yeah, the and then y'all started out the Super Bowl. I mean, putting it out there in the universe. Oh, my God. What y'all national anthem sound like? That don't mean sing it right now. <laughs> can, you, can you tell I'm a fan? Because I'm like, oh my God, I want y'all to sing everything to me right now, but I'm oh not going to do it like that. We want you to Very sing that. <laughs> one day, one day, I'm, I'm going to wait for that. And then how did y'all come together? Okay, so Kirstie, Mitch, and I, we grew up together. We did like musical theater as kids. Mm -hmm. We met in high school. And then we found our bass and beatbox through a mutual friend, and we found Kevin on, um, on YouTube. On YouTube. Mm -hmm. And then Matt, we found through Ben Bram, our uh, ranger. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. For your piano. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's not easy, as you know, as singers, to find voices that really blend together and work well together. So mm -hmm. y'all lucked out being able to find each other and to have such a musical yeah. syncing yeah. Yeah, thank for your you. sound. That's how you know what I mean? Too, yeah. 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 I, yeah. I was going to say, I feel like because we also grew up together, we had the same teachers, and, and so we really learned how to blend together naturally, and so then it was really cool to bring that here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Did you ever think you would go this far? No. Oh, no. You always dream, yeah. you always mm -hmm. hope. And especially, I think, with acapella, we thought at, in the beginning, honestly, that there was a ceiling. But then once we won the TV show, I feel like we had this feeling that there actually is no ceiling to what we can do. Mm -hmm. And if we just stay true to, truly, no, no ceiling. Like, and, and we just stayed true to who we were and stayed true to what we wanted to give out into the world and how we wanted to serve. And it's just so cool that so many people have listened to us. And it just feels like we're bringing a lot of harmony no pun intended to, to, to a lot of different people. And it's, it's, it's healing for us as well. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a blessing. I know for me and my son, we love y'all so much. Oh, oh my thank God. We sit in the car and sing every song oh, every wow. year. That so know amazing. that you are part of our holidays oh, and our you. family, and we love you so much, which makes me, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. OK, before I go, I got to talk about your, your upcoming tour, the most wonderful tour is that how it goes? Yeah. yeah. I love to spend the most wonderful <laughs> tour of the year. Yeah. yeah. Tell me, how did that come about? We've just, like, we started doing Christmas tours a few years ago, and they're just so much fun. It becomes people's family tradition. There's so much love in the room. It's so energizing. Tour can be exhausting. Um, but something about the Christmas tour has a magic to it that we just love it. We get to celebrate Christmas all month long, and uh, we can't wait for this one. It's our biggest one yet. Man, I can't wait for this. Yeah. Okay, yeah, come. Yeah, come. We come. Oh, okay. yeah. We are coming. Will y'all stick around for a little bit longer? Oh, of course. Yes. All right, more with Pentatonics. We'll be right back. And we're back with Pentatonics. New album. So, the greatest Christmas hits. Yeah. Tell me about this album, because I want to know everything. Oh my God. <laughs> well, it's our eighth. Christmas album. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we just decided to cover all of the Christmas songs possible. Oh my goodness. And, um, but this is like the ultimate one. It's all of the ones that people love throughout the years. Hallelujah, Mary Jane. You know, we curated like a 25 song Christmas playlist that'll be perfect for anything people are doing for Christmas. See, that blows my mind. <laughs> <laughs>
Because that is the reason why I don't have a Christmas album to this day, because I can never pick the songs. How do you pick the songs? Oh, well, I tell you the good just... thing is that when we get together, we sit together and just listen to songs and see what mm -hmm. kind of makes us feel something. Naturally. And we'll just start to literally throw out ideas. It's very improvisational. And that's how we start to arrange it. So I think it, just whatever hits us, we do that. And honestly, at this point, there's just not a lot of songs to choose from. Yeah. Great albums. Yeah. We have enough. Yeah. There's just not a lot to yeah. choose from. You should do Oh Holy Night. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, you, oh, oh, you got a song suggestion for me. Oh Holy Night. Oh, oh please. Oh. Actually, you right. so good. That would be now. amazing. <laughs> oh, holy, yes. OK, I got to write that out. Oh Holy Night. But I got to sing with y'all because I got to be a part of one of your albums. Yeah. We did How Great Thou Art, yeah. right? Yes, so good. We yes. were so, so amazing. <laughs> Yes. Was honor. And this is one of my favorite yes. holiday memories. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. yeah. Look how excited we are. I know we are, <laughs> I know so, we are so excited. <laughs> I, I will oh, never forget that moment. And I Same. brought my nephew with me because he was a huge fan and he wanted he to see so you guys. And my grandmother used to sing How Great Thou Art, too. So oh. it's special oh, wow. to me for that reason. Earlier in the show, I shared a snippet of a letter that was sent in about our next guest. She is the founder of Holidays Helping Hands, an organization giving a hand up to unhoused individuals. From Los Angeles, California, please welcome Katina Holiday. Welcome to the show. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You look so lovely, first of all. You look amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now, Katina, did you know that your aunt had wrote into the show? I did not until the producers called me, and I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah. And she was like, I'm calling from the J Hood show. I said, The J Hood? <laughs> the boss? My twin? <laughs> oh, you do look like me! <laughs> yes, That's why she so cute! <laughs> People tell you you look like Jim Butts. Oh, when you was on American Idol, girl. It, one of the guys was your limo driver, actually, and he came into the hospital and he was like, You look like her, but you know, I was a little. The internet. No, you got it, girl. I see it. I was like, she cute. Yeah, you know. Then I was yeah. looking at myself. Right. <laughs> okay. What is Holidays Helping Hand? So Holidays Helping Hands is an interim housing for the homeless mm -hmm. that we do here in LA, and we provide homeless housing to incarcerated women, meaning women coming from jail that are wow. pregnant, also for families, and so also for individuals. And we also have another thing that we start doing was recuperative care. So those are being from the hospital mm -hmm. and being hospitalized and don't have anywhere to go and need to be stepped down to some acute type housing. We do that as well. Amazing. Wow. What is your program like? How does your program work exactly? Can you explain that for us? Absolutely. So, of course, we provide housing. Mm -hmm. We provide life skills training. We also provide job skills training. So we have this program that's called Shine Ambassador Workforce Program. Mm -hmm. It's called SAWS, and we provide job training to individuals that can. And through that program, it's a 12-week program. We're actually in our cohort four, so that we provide a graduation for them. But through that training, they also do some classroom stuff. We teach them tech. We teach them how to do financial literacy. We teach them how to do resumes, how to interview, and all those Amazing. things to get jobs. And also, they end up working for us because we believe in giving a hand up and not a hand out. I love that. A hand up, not a hand out. Did you come up with that? Absolutely. No, I learned it from somebody else. That, <laughs> but to do the work is in the work. Absolutely. That is amazing. And why is this so close to your heart? You know, I am from MI. <laughs> cricket letter. Ah. Uh, cricket letter. Okay. I. Uh, cricket letter. Huh? Cricket letter. Uh -oh. Come on now. Uh -huh. I. I. Come back. Come back. Come back. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I'm from a small town in Aberdeen, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Aberdeen, yes. Yeah. Yeah, cheer it up. <laughs> and my grandmother, who is near and dear and God rest her soul, she took care of everybody. And people didn't know that the Beautiful. people that my grandma took care of, right? So it was this one guy in particular, his name was Shine, that walked the streets. And she fed him three meals a day. Three meals he a day. He ate exactly what we ate. And my grandma could cook. 
oh, okay. to say the least, right? Yes. So he ate the same three meals that we ate a day. And so she just took care of him. And not only him, like people would come to my grandmother's house and need to pay their light bill, their gas bill, their mortgage, their rent. Mm. And I don't know if y'all know anything about them coming out them bosom. Oh, of money. course. Huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't make me go in there. Right, right. I understand. Yes, and that's what she did. And, and just growing up around that. And our family is a family of givers anyway. Right. It's just what we do. And just growing up around that. And of course, I'm a nurse. You're a nurse. Yeah. It's so it's just, it's in you. Is that part of the background that inspired you to do this? When I was in my training, getting my family nurse practitioner degree, because I can write prescriptions. Mm, talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. I got my Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so when I was in nurse practitioner school, I worked at this free clinic downtown LA. Because in my hometown in Aberdeen, it's, you know, people are not homeless there. Because yeah. if you do, you get to stay with family, which is different when I got to LA and I took my first trip to Skid Row. I was like, Oh my gosh, oh like my what is this? Yep. But working in the ER as an RN and seeing those people and when I did my training at the Central Neighborhood, um, I was like, oh my gosh, this is who I really want to serve, mm. you know? And I remember going on an interview at a very prestigious hospital here and um, they asked me, now you're going to be coming here taking care of like the rich people. How, do you, how are you going to equate that from taking care of the homeless? And I told them it's no different. Everybody's entitled. That's so, right. <laughs> Oh. Now, what makes your facilities different? The fact that we offer family housing, right? So at our facilities, believe it or not, other organizations have turned families away or would break up the family. I took in a family that the son was like 18 years old, right? Mm -hmm. And so what they would do is they would break the family up. And so I'm like, at Holidays Helping Hands, we don't do that. Mm. We keep the family together. Your family is what, your fa what you say your family is. We do same-sex families, and we also, what I'm so proud of is our single father's house, because people don't believe that right. fathers are homeless raising their kids either, and it happens. It's not just single mothers. Right. And so that niche, and we offer 24-7 care. We have staff around the clock at Holidays Helping Hands. And so the other thing that I think stands out from the rest is the fact that we teach them to be good neighbors. Mm because we've dealt with not in my backyard, mm -hmm. right? And so we've had people come and apologize because they said, we didn't even know that it would be ran like this. You know, you gotta keep your yard clean. You gotta keep your stuff up. You gotta keep it clean. And we provide state-of-the-art facilities at Holiday's Heaven Hands. You could go there and stay. And I believe that if I can't sleep there, then they can't sleep there. And that's how we operate. It's powerful, man. That is for sure. Listen, we're back with Pentatonix, and I love to leave on a high note. I'm so glad I got y'all here for that. But before I go, I need to make sure y'all got y'all part right. I know they got all of their notes. Y'all got y'all? Yeah. Okay, let me tell them at home. Doody, doody, do, do, do. Doody, doody, do. Man, forget it. Can y'all give it to them and show them how to do it? Two, two. A one, a two, a one, two. There you go. smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.